Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 8 of uh, Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Let's just jump into this one. Alright, so sit rep. We've made it to a village. Let's just see if this village has a name. I think it's just a village or a town or something. But we're in the dark woods. So ominous. Uh, so there's still a question mark and then we've obviously got a merchant. We need to go to my shelter find a whole bunch of different people. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I feel like the question mark is in this building. Well, maybe it's that. I need to find the key to open this. Hmm. Gonna pickpocket, hello. I guess if she ever dies, <laughs> we can loot her and grab a key. It's apparently stealing isn't frowned upon in this society. Alright, let's go to the cabin first. Not that I don't think we really need to rest or anything. slept in was and it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to poor lad I wonder uh, the King James Bible cute oh sorry you were chatting oh that's my bad my dear Evelyn as you know Alexander and I must go home the new smith's plan seemed the right one but now God calls our hearts back to New Eden. The horses and their pastures are gone but the house yet stands. We shall rebuild or we shall die there where we belong at home. I write now for I must thank you for your kindness and your unwavering encouragement especially when I thought my rotten lungs would be the death of me. Thank you sincerely and may God bless you your dearest friend Elizabeth. interesting so a number of people left New Eden to try to get to Boston so obviously this is taking place on the oh. thank you for just opening that book this is obviously taking place on the east coast of America with Boston being up north just like I don't know I'm trying to orient myself and understand this world I don't quite understand. So New Eden's on the coast. And then there's also the coast along here. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this, unless we're in like the south of America. Yeah, I don't know. Just trying to like orient myself and understand the world that we're in. How it all kind of fits together. Obviously it's loosely based on the real world. Just don't know how loosely based it is. Yeah. Now we won't freeze. Prove yourself. <laughs> freeze. Don't tell me how to live my life. Um, okay. We can upgrade the ring, which would be fantastic. Now she can do 11 damage. <laughs> Yay! Oh, one extra point of damage. 
Wait, so three out of four decoction charges. How does this work? So it's not like traditional health potions where you use them up and then that's it. It sort of almost seems like they recharge. Oh yay, we can also fast travel. Crafting resources and enemies will respawn. Interesting. So I guess if I need to go get certain things, I can travel to the different places and then go get them. Which again, I think I made the comment in the last video that if I get roadblocked because I have to uh, get the right ingredients for something, I'm going to get so annoyed. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the oh, sorry, she was talking. nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. I wish there was like a mini map as well. All right, so well, haunting case. Oh, we can get essence from that. Another haunting case. Oh, okay, so that's why they're not doing things as well as they would have once upon a time, I'm assuming. Alright, let's go to the merchant. Maybe we can see if there's anything we can buy from there. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. These nails look brittle. Gone fishing? Hayton, our houses are a fallen down and we need them nails to build with. Deliver soonest if you will. No rubbish, like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. Thick skin. What's from the past linger? What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Mm. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. I mean, it could just be the metal itself, no? What kind of forge has no tools? Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. All right, so that's everything here, I'm assuming. We climb in through the window. I see the memory. Oh, I see it. Okay, so the blacksmith is locked. You can't climb in the window. Hello. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. The forge is empty. No tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge without asking? The door was open. 
Oh, so there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. Would the salt explain why the metal is so weak? It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, am I in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. What think you of thick skinned Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart. Even if she doesn't show it, why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But Thick Skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around? Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. I'm just curious what she might have. Eee, got a brooch, some armor. That might be nice. Okay, so this is how much I have. Banish a tea. Oh, cute. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Don't mind me, I'm not following you. Just sussing out what's around. Yes, I see you. Okay, Governor Haskell's letter to Fortune Hayton. In this the year of our Lord, 1694, from the pen of the most honourable Fairfax H. Haskell, Governor of the Colonies of New Eden and Roundabouts, to Master Fortune Hayton, Hayton's Forge or Smithy in London, letter of appointment. Um, as you were known in London as in Boston as a blacksmith of some renown and indeed a Puritan of impeccable faith. I have the pleasure of confirming that place awaits you here, so in New Eden. To all who should be concerned, herewith let it be known that Fortune Hayton has been contracted to the colony of New Eden as the new blacksmith. 
if you want to read all of that yourself, go for it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, um, I found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sinned at times but wishes no harm on anyone. He speaks to me with respect and I to him likewise. He listens to me with interest and I to him the same. Above all, he is kind. This I think is the greatest of things a man can be. We know our men by their wealth or by their conquest, but really we should know them by their kindness. I shall cherish this page as it marks the moment I saw life on more favourable terms. I'm assuming that's when she met her husband. Not some other man. <laughs> Alright, yes, can I interact with this please? I have a feeling about the bed. Memories from the past linger nearby. Wow, he's just doing that on the wooden floor. A scale for smile. He got skills, man. No ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed, but he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. I wonder how she's going to feel about this mark at the foot of her bed. <laughs> Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. My dear friend, Blacksmith, the rim on my cartwheel remains broken, as I understood it you were to fix it, is there a problem? To work, sir, the sooner the better. Wait, I'm confused. So it's telling me to come here. Is she supposed to do something with them? Oh yeah, okay, whoops, sorry. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Yeah, if only one of you had died sooner. Okay, things are very quiet as Antea. Oh, hold on. Apparently I can do something. C has appeared. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, okay, so we need to be her to be able to see them. It's just so quiet as her. What 
What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? I don't know why every so often it gives me dialogue options. Nice, I'm glad she can rob things for me. That would be a cool mechanic if I wanted to steal things and I'd have to switch to her because she's a ghost so no one could see her do it. No spectral dust. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, hello. Oh, what can we do about that, I wonder? Assuming that's where the question mark will lead to. I'm also going to assume there's nothing we can do. Body just got thrown, <laughs> tossed aside. Oh, oh, but wait, there's more. Come at me, there's bros. Help! Please! I beg of you, help me! Holy Mary, pray for me, Saint Joseph, pray for me, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Help me, please! Oh, I'm trying, mate. I'm just a bit stuck right now. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and... That's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? 
No. Yes. Maybe, no. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe... Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. I feel an echo ringing. Like a hum. Ooh, and a chest. Let's go for that first. Ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads. Okay, wow. So we're going further into the woods, I guess. Bring it on, enemies. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger for Nelly. I like how they're just called the dangerous woods. So many like campfires and stuff around for a group of people who are afraid of these woods. They sure like camping. Something's nearby. Where is it? Why are we talking about the wolves? Oh, that! Why'd you do that? Oh, is the other wolf still alive? I thought I just needed to like... Oh, yep. Ha ha! Ha ha! Dodged you! Something's here. Hidden. Okay, so I think I'm slowly getting how this works. 
There is the um, sort of marker that appears around them when we're in combat, and if it's white, it means they're far enough away that they can't do damage. If it's red, they're about to attack us. That's not what I was after though. <laughs> All right, good to know that's there. This is another big place, which I would love to explore. Wait, is she still seeing footprints? Yeah, okay, cool. Just so I'm not wandering aimlessly. Well, that's interesting. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. You've got yes. a rope. That would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. But, but you, uh, you've got a rope. Okay, so I ended up having to look this up because I, I was like, there has to be a way to get down to this hammer. But I was just not figuring it out. And apparently... Apparently it's something to do with up here. I think a way to pass could be near. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, like right here. What the mess. It has taken me so long. I was running around and I found all kinds of things, which, like, cool, don't get me wrong. But just that one thing I couldn't for the life of me figure out. So shout out to all the people who have come before me. <laughs> we were able to work that mess out. Yeah, okay, so we can't do anything there. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then, let's trigger the trap. Yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> there were so many places he could have tied a rope. Oh, this game. I'm learning to love it. All right. right. Whoa. Business. What the heck? Oh. oh, 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 stop consuming. Ah, dang it. Stubborn bastard. Marcin left. has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Yeah, I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to the possessions because they can actually be incredibly annoying. And again, I'm also trying very hard not to button mash, but it's um, been a life of button mashing in these kinds of games. It's hard to just not do it by default. Because it's kind of like once he starts attacking or swinging, I can't stop. So if I've set him up to do three attacks, there is nothing I can do to stop him from doing those three attacks, even if there's no enemy around. I can't get him to like change direction or just interrupt the attacks or anything along those lines. Okay, Hammer, you are mine. Where are you? That's enough, Nelly. 
I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? A worn blacksmith's flatter, wet and shrouded with spectral stains. A lot birds killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Oh, okay, sorry, we're doing that here. Gotcha. Uh, so we are talking, uh, so we want to make manifest. Oh, there's so much pyrite around. Look at it all. He can foolish his hookah. Hold on, where is the ghost? Oh, over here. Why did he appear all the way over there? <laughs> we are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine! She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. I've had enough of this. Let's go. 
Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. In fairness, I've heard of worse murders. Nellie and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. So I've got return to the forge and then optional rest at the high cave shelter. Am I going to get haunted if I do that? <laughs> Is this ghost going to come and attack me? Um, this might be a good spot to leave the video. I think now I've figured this whole area out and I've made the progress that I wanted to make. Chase, there was so much running around and I picked up like a chest and a few bits and pieces. I found, I haven't found this point of interest, but I found this nest. Um, they defeated me quite quickly though, so I might have to come back to that. And then there's sort of some locked areas. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad I got that done. <laughs> All right, this is where I'll leave it.